ignore how I look. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another What's For Dinner. I thought I'd get on here and do a quick intro and just um, say thank y'all for coming and watching my What's For Dinners. I love doing these, I love sharing them. And so today's video, I will be sharing three meals that we had this week. That's kind of becoming a theme. I'm trying to share at least three, maybe more a week. Um, so anyways, let's get started with the video. Hey y'all, tonight we're gonna make some meatloaf. I have some onions that I have diced up. Get it all out. Add in these onions. I did about, it was one kind of medium. It wasn't too terribly big, but and this normally has a little thing to help get the rest of these onions out and I lost the little thing, so I was trying to get some of the little pieces that hang up in here. All right, so I um, also wanna add two eggs. I wanna have two pounds of hamburger meat in case you're wondering. I'm gonna add um, three cloves of garlic, minced garlic, which I have a new container of it. Okay, so I'm gonna add three cloves of garlic, so about half a teaspoon is one, so. And then I'm gonna add three tablespoons of ketchup. Okay, and then we're gonna add um, a little bit of, it's called for fresh parsley, I don't have any, so I'm just gonna sprinkle some of this dried parsley. Just kind of guessing, I don't know how much. And then I also need, it called for three fourths a cup of panko breadcrumbs, which I don't think I'm gonna have a whole three quarters of a cup. So, I'm gonna put what I do have and I don't know if it's gonna make a difference, but I'm gonna keep putting my arm in the way. I'm gonna add some quick oats because that's what I usually add to my um, meatloaf, so. There. I'm gonna also add a third a cup of milk. Y'all, I don't know where I stopped. <laughs> okay. Okay, y'all. I accidentally stopped the camera, but I added a third of a cup of milk, one and a half teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoons of Italian seasoning, and a fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper. It also called for a half a teaspoon of ground paprika, but I did not have any. So now I'm gonna use my hands and mix this up really well. I'm gonna add a little more ketchup because I like mine to have a little bit more. Oh, that might be too much. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna make our loaves. And the reason I'm making these like this is because my husband likes the end pieces and stuff like that, so I'm making like, halving it almost into two smaller loaves. Okay, I have our oven preheated at 375 and we're gonna start out cooking this for 40 minutes and then I'm gonna make the topping that's gonna go on top of it that we'll put on and cook for another 15 to 20 minutes. Okay y'all, I am gonna leave the original recipe down in the description box. I'm not making the same topping that they use. I'm gonna use what we always put on our meatloaf balls and meatloaf. Um, so I'm gonna put a half a cup of brown sugar into a bowl. Okay. And then also a half a cup of ketchup. And then we want one and a half teaspoons of mustard. That's okay, don't worry about it. 
And then I'm just gonna mix this up real well and I'll just set it to the side until we're ready for it. Okay, y'all, I forgot to show y'all, but I took this out after 40 minutes, put that topping on it, we stuck it back in for 15 more, and it's done. Hey, y'all, I forgot to show you all the food on the table, so I thought I'd give you a closer look at that meatloaf. My yeah, husband made his mac and cheese up. He likes to add extra yeah, cheese. Put some potatoes. Like this is just instant potato, sour cream, and chives, actually. But we're going to start eating, and we'll let you know how we like it. Yeah. What? Okay, Bryce, we're going to start out with you first. How do you like this meatloaf? Is it's it good? good? Good deal. Everything else good, too? Yep. All right. All right, Courtney. How about you? Courtney. Is it good? She's not a big meatloaf fan, so I'm going to see. She's eating it, so it must be pretty good. Is it decent? I mean, it's not tacos, but... It's not tacos, um... It's like good. My bun is better than mom's. <laughs> no, I'm not wearing a bun, is she? I took it down because my head was hurting. Mm. No, you don't. Okay, Adrian, how do you like it? It's like flying, trying to get my food. It's good. Woo! -hoo! Good deal. All right. Let me get over here where y'all can see the hand. Good. All right. Thumb? One thumb. One. Okay. I changed up the meatloaf recipe, like I told y'all. So. I didn't stick with the original that they like, but it's still pretty good. So anyways, alrighty. Hey y'all, tonight I'm gonna make ham and cheese sliders. I've made this a long time ago on my channel, but I wanna make it again. I have a half a cup of melted butter, and I'm gonna add in two cloves of garlic, minced garlic. I'm also gonna add in a teaspoon of where, Worcestershire, Worcestershire, whatever it is. You know what I'm talking about. Gonna, well, preferably not do that, but we're gonna add a teaspoon of that. And we're gonna add a pinch of salt and pepper. Then I'm gonna mix this up real well. And this is, I'm gonna actually do two the recipe was for like one package of slider buns, but I'm going to double this. So we will see if this is enough. If it's not enough for both, I'll just double, I'll make another one of these for the second pan. So now we'll move on. Okay, y'all, I have a nine by 13 inch pan. I'm gonna spray some uh, nonstick cooking spray on the bottom. And I could not find any slider buns, so I have these Hawaiian rolls. They're the just Sarah Lee brand. And I'm gonna cut these in half, like down the center and split these. Okay, I've cut these in half, so I'm gonna take the bottoms and put them in the bottom of our pan. Okay, now I'm going to take some mayonnaise and we're gonna spread that on the bread. I guess if you didn't like mayonnaise, you could use mustard if, or whatever, but we like mayonnaise, so. Okay, now I just have some Velveeta, just sliced cheese. You can use whatever kind of cheese you want. And we're gonna start putting it on our sliders. Just know this is all going to melt, so. <laughs> And now I have some black forest ham, and we're going to put that on top. And maybe it really wouldn't have mattered if I kept the cheese together because I'm gonna have to end up cutting it anyways. Oh well, next one I won't do this way. <laughs> I forgot. Now, originally, I'm wash, I just washed my hands. We used um, mozzarella cheese on this part, but I didn't have any, so I have this um, 
It is called Triple Cheddar. It has shredded Vermont, shredded sharp cheddar, and mild cheddar. So um, I'm gonna sprinkle, in case you wonder, Courtney accidentally lit the bag and she's opening. We're gonna sprinkle some of that over the top of this meat. Okay, now I'm gonna put the tops on. And now we're gonna take our butter spread or our mixture or whatever, and we're going to brush it on the tops. So I think I'll have enough to put on both. And you're gonna to wanna to do this real good on this bread. So I may still have to make a little bit more Maybe a half a stick of butter instead of a whole one. Cause okay, now we're gonna take and put this one to the side, and I'm gonna quickly do the same thing on this next one. Okay, I just wanted to show y'all how I did the, the the meat or the if I can talk the cheese this time. So I just did it that way instead of tearing it up, except for on the y'all. I forgot to tell you to cover these with foil and bake them at 350 for 15 minutes. Then remove the foil, close it up, cook it for 10 more. Okay, y'all, it is done. Now I'm going to attempt to cut these. <laughs> and Courtney better quit all her mess over there. Adrian, how do you like these ham and cheese sliders? Thumbs up. Yay. How about you, honey? Are they good? Ooh, two thumbs up. Okay. Courtney. They're awful? You were just saying how they were angels and all this. How was it? They're awful. There's another whole pile of that's why you're chewing it up right now, eating all of it. <laughs> very good, very good. Y'all need to make these. This pan's already empty and we have another pan. So, yep. Oh, and my husband says put some of this um, chili lime. Cholula. Is that how you say it? Cholula, yeah. Cholula. Hey, y'all. Today we're going to be putting some chicken in the crock pot. And we're going to be making salsa verde chicken. I've made this before, but it's been a long time ago. And actually, my chicken is still kind of frozen. Frozen. I took it out and stuck it in the refrigerator last night, and it hasn't defrosted all the way. I'm going to see if I can at least break it apart. Let's see. Because this is two really big chicken breast. Um... And since we're going to shred it anyways, I'm just going to see. Maybe I can cut it. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put some salsa verde in there. And I just have this, I don't know how you pronounce it. Is it Herdez or, I don't know. Anyways, we're going to pour that in there. And then we're going to also put some ground cumin in there. We put two teaspoons of ground cumin. Just sprinkle it on top. It's very simple. We're going to kind of make like tacos out of our meat tonight. And then we're going to add some lime juice. And I just like to buy this real lime. The recipe I found said um, it's optional, but um, you can put um, lime juice in here too. And according to this, three tablespoons equals the juice of one lime. Now I got it open, so I'll go ahead and put Okay, and then all we're gonna do is put the lid on. We're gonna turn it on low. 
and I'm going to let this cook for about um, six to eight hours. And then we'll come back and I'll sh we'll shred it up and we'll show you how we're going to make uh, how we're going to serve it. It is all done now. Um, I ended up getting my mixer and I mixed this up to shred it. That's the best way to do it. And for some reason, I forgot to turn my camera on and show the rest of this. Um, we heated up some tortillas and just made tacos. And these were so good. Um, so thank y'all so much for watching. I will insert a picture here at the end of our plate. And I'll see you back here next Friday. Mm -hmm.